January the 6th, 2021, and a mob is attacking the Capitol building. President Trump's staff and family urge him to stop this, but the inquiry has heard instead he posted a tweet saying his vice president, Mike Pence, didn't have the courage to block the election. For some of his staff, that was too much. I think that in that moment, for him to tweet out the message about Mike Pence, it was him pouring gasoline on the fire and making it much worse. The inquiry also had evidence from a White House security official who'd been on the phone to the vice president's security detail at the Capitol. His identity was concealed. It was disturbing. I don't like talking about it, but um, uh, there were calls to uh, say goodbye to family members, so on and so forth. It was getting, for, for whatever the reason was on the ground, the VP detail thought that this was about to get very ugly. After more than three hours of rioting, the president did agree to urge people to go home. But outtakes from the recording of his official message show he's still not accepted the election result. This election is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over, OK? For the committee, all of this makes the former president unfit for any public role. This is one of the few Republicans prepared to criticize Donald Trump. And every American must consider this. Can a president who is willing to make the choices Donald Trump made during the violence of January 6th ever be trusted with any position of authority in our great nation again? Donald Trump says this is all fake news, but after this evidence, the Justice Department is under pressure to bring criminal charges against him, even as he may well be getting ready for a second run at the presidency. Andy Bell, 5 News.